<laughs> Orange juice. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Lazy Lime. Today's January 25th, 2013. It's a Friday. It's my first day going back to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym in a couple hours here. Real quick, just want to talk to you guys about three things. It's all about the brain. I haven't done a neuroscience video in a long time, anything about science, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, as far as I understand it and all the research that I've done, humans, the only thing that separates humans from animals, you guys, is the frontal cortex, okay? It's a certain part of the brain. And apparently this part of the brain doesn't get developed, actually, until early 20s, early mid-20s. And this allows for rational thought and thinking and complex planning. So, basically thinking like an adult, like a man, like a real woman, not being little kids anymore. And that's pretty much the only part of our brain that is different than animals. Imagine if sharks and like anim and lions and even ants, the smallest of animals, imagine if they could plan. If they, if they could have evil conspiracies and plans and communicate with each other to take over the world like we can. Like, think like that, rationally. We'd be screwed. We'd be really screwed. That's the only thing that really separates us from them, okay? So that's just one thing I wanted to say. Another thing, two other things. These are really cool, too. Everyone always says, yo, I hate math. I hate using math in real life. I never use math. Why do I need to learn in school? Guys. Okay, guys and girls. Like, you know when you're walking around and you see a bunch of strangers and you're just looking at, you're not looking at anybody in spe specifically. You're just looking around as you're walking, like, through a store. Oh, by the way, Devil Wars Prada, you want to talk about lifting weights and, like, getting pumped up? Anyway, um, anyway, you're walking around a store, you see a bunch of strangers, right? You're not looking at anyone specifically, but then you think you see someone really attractive, like a really hot girl, and you're like, oh man, that girl was sexy, and you look back, and then you see her, and she's not hot at all. She's actually ugly. And you're like, why did that happen? Why did I think she was hot? Same thing, girls, if you're look, looking around, you see a guy in the corner of your eye, like, oh man, that guy's really attractive. You turn and actually look at him, he's not. Why does that happen? Well, this is my opinion on it, my theory. Our brains, when you scan that image, when you go by and you kind of see them, it gets like an outline of what they are, okay? All their dimensions, you know what I mean? And then it, it puts together the most attractive outcome given their dimensions, in your mind. It puts together the most beautiful person of them that they could be. And nine out of ten times when you look back that second time, it finishes the math equation because you were going too fast. It finishes it, and it's like, wow, nope, this doesn't fit at all. I had an image in my mind, and that's not what it is. And guys, also, when you see dudes at the gym, sometimes they'll look really jacked for a second, right? If you see a picture of them, just really quick. But then if you go and look at them a little closer, you realize, oh, look, they're not actually really that strong. Why does that happen? Well, the brain doesn't mess around, you guys. The brain does everything for a reason. It cuts straight to the chase. It's going to build this guy in your mind. If you see someone at the corner of your eye and it looks like a male, it's going to make that male the strongest looking male he could be. So then when you look back and you see him, you're ready to face the absolute strongest that, that his potential could reach. Does that make any sense? Because you're about to fight him, most likely, as a male. Female, it makes the girl look as beautiful as possible because your brain's automatically thinking reproduction, sex. Let's make this girl as attractive as possible because we want to go and spread our genes. But then you look back and she doesn't match that description at all in your head. It's like the double take. You know what I mean? You look at someone, you think you see an attractive person, but then you look back and they're not. Your brain was building that person for you, what you really wanted them to be, given their, like, quick shadow of dimensions that you saw when you scanned them. Okay, last thing, guys, real quick. Um, the face. I can't express the face enough. It's like, I just did, like, I measured mine. You know, whatever, a couple inches, five by, like, seven, just random arbitrary dimensions. Let's just say the average human's face is, like, six by eight, okay? A rectangle, you know what I mean? Six across, eight inches up. How many different faces have we seen? Everybody looks different, you know what I mean? Thousands and uh, millions of calculus equations that our brains do instantly. When you walk into a room and you find and you think, she's attractive, she's attractive, she's not, she's not. Your brain's doing all this calculus, this trigonometry, putting all the dimensions of this girl's face together. And you're just coming up with one conclusion, whether or not you think she's attractive. Mind-blowing, you guys. It's absolutely mind-blowing when you sit down and think about how quickly our brains do all of this math. 
while we do nothing. We sit here, we're just like, yo, hanging out, chilling. It's our frontal cortex, a lot of it. And by the way, guys, I don't know if you can see it, the snow out there. It's fucking sweet. I haven't been to the gym, you guys, in like two weeks. I hate to admit it almost. This is going to be an interesting experience. I'm going to go balls deep today. Balls deep. I'm going to tear my body to pieces. Two pieces. All right, guys. going to finish my orange juice. Now I got to go to the store, take care of some stuff, and then go to the gym. All right, guys. Just think about that for a while, okay? That fucking math. The math that your brain does and how insane it is. All right, peace. Ladies and gentlemen.